Hello and welcome back to Factorial. <clears throat> now, in the last episode we made red and green again. We needed to set up red and green because we weren't producing any signs at all so we set up red and green again. Uh, I used a blueprint to remind myself how to build it so I could make it like bigger if I wanted to. Uh, I didn't use the blueprint to build it, I just like took a peek at it and uh, build it by looking. It might have been a bit frustrating but it is a rule I have on myself with the series not to use the blueprint necessarily. Um, the only reason why I'm using the blue, like seem to be using blueprint up here is because I need them for measuring where I might want to uh, have stuff to do useful stuff with. So it's just a measuring, uh, measuring um, uh, blueprint just to make sure I don't use it for some stupid shit. Now, we made, in the last episode, we made this blueprint with useful items. It's just the items we have automated up here. If we take this and move, put it over, we can see it's exactly as it looks like here but it's just a, bl a blueprint to remind ourselves what we have made already now one thing i believe we want to do is to try to make them like these items as well as possible um like make it so we chain basically because the thing is like long-handed and fast inserters like long-hand inserter and fast inserter needs normal inserter to to be made And filter inserter needs fast insert to be made, as well as stack inserter needs fast inserter. And filter insert, stack filter inserter needs stack inserter to be made. So, I think what we want to do is to, like, chain them so they feed into into each other, but still makes all the things we want them to make like we want all the steps now I'm going to go into science and just queue up all the red green we have left I'm not sure we have anything else uh, we're going to have to make the black or grey science whatever you want to call it the military science packs as they are called now they are a bit expensive because you need uh, piercing rounds magazines and you need to make grenades. Walls are quite cheap, but you still need to make them. So we do have brick production. Yes, we do. So we just need to put bricks on the bus, basically. So now what I'm going to do, I can see right now that what I should do really is Mm, I should move stuff a bit. I should pl probably put this down s a bit further to the right. Let's do that. Uh, just quickly to like this. There we go. Uh, this way we have uh, ways of expanding the bus. And I probably should do something like this. Just to like...
if you wonder how I removed the, uh, the ghost image there, or what I did was um, I just held down the uh, right mouse button and moving it over. That meant I removed it. Now I'm going to put that back. And uh, there shouldn't be any problems uh, when it comes to the bus at this point. We shouldn't need like more than eight other stuff on the bus. Um, no, we shouldn't need more than that. <clears throat> to be honest. But anyway, let's put down a bunch of stuff. What I am going to do is I'm going to put down a line where I'm going to keep I'm going to use this line as as a reference not to put stuff to the left of it but only to the right of it. Let's drag that down. There we go. We should have enough space. Uh, in case we don't, we could make clip explosives at this point. Now, they are a bit expensive and takes uh, a bit of time to make, but should be fine. <laughs> now, let's put them like... Let's start like down here. I'm going to say let's put a good amount of distance of extra space and that's the thing uh, like do not be afraid of using all the space. Do not try to like if you're having trouble to fit stuff in then you're trying to build too compact and tight, like too tight, uh, um, tightly packed machine, like areas with machines. You, well, I, I'm probably rambling a bit, but what I'm trying to say is, don't try to pack machines in in like a super tight space and try to get it to work. Just put a bit extra space. If you need something like that, take a bit extra space and just make it there. Don't need to like try to cram extra stuff in basically just beside stuff. So let's see here. We need, if we take a look at this, yeah, we need yellow, red, and blue inserters and we are going to have to do this. Now, if I remember correctly, like red inserters is not used in anything else, but blue is. Let's see if we, we might be able to do something like this. We probably should, but because I think I need to make the iron gears. Um, I think I'm going to bus a few. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we have no science we can make. I'm going to quickly, just super quickly, check the power. We might have to expand it. No, we're fine. Okay. We're fine. So far, we're fine. Um, what I'm going to do here is actually... I'm going to um, make 
iron gear wheels and put them on the bus. It might sound like insane for some, but it is quite useful for some machines that doesn't need like a ton of them. Now, I am not going to try to supply my whole base like this with iron gear wheels, but like if we take a look at like long handed inserters needs one per item, inserter needs one per item, like fast inserter doesn't even need any. And yes, stack insert needs 15 of them, but should still be fine. Uh, transport bells needs um, like one a piece. Um, like splitters doesn't need any. Now, when you get to fast underground bells, like red underground bells, you're going to need a ton of iron gear wheels um, because it needs 40 per craft. So that's something to be care like aware of uh let's see we want to do this i could just do this since we have it like we have it now that would mean we need to build like this though now that is that fine it might be yeah it should be should be should be fine put that there you're probably not going to need a lot of filter inserters not necessarily any of them so i'm not even going to build them to be honest if i don't think i need them i'm not going to build them now stack inserters however i know i need so i am going to build those let's go like this and this and this we need from here mm. Now let's keep that there. We can move this one like this. There we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. You'll see what I'm doing and why I'm doing it soon. Um, let's put this one here. We do want these. And then we want... Well, we can just do this. And we're gonna limit it to two. Limiting chests are probably the most uh, like resource saving thing you can do because it's so easy to just like say that oh yeah i'm just going to make a bunch of them or you forget to limit the chest and then you have like a thousand of them and you don't necessarily need that much now you're probably going to use them all but not at all like all the time you're probably not going to need that much all the time let's do this here we go and uh, we are going to do a bit of 
this so we don't get anything on a belt that's not continuing. Here we go. And I could just drag it out like this. It doesn't matter at this point. And we do need iron over here, so let's drag it down a bit. There we go. And we do need to make sure we have the undergrounds not it will be bad there we go might want to output as well let's do that i uh, most likely going to do this this way we can power this thing with three medium power poles instead instead of uh, like four or five uh, let's see how close we have to go there we go. Mm, there we go. And the iron gear wheels are going on the bus. And it will come down here. There we go. Now, we need <clears throat> to bring down electronic circuits and iron plates. Now, this one needs advanced circuits as well, so this one isn't going to work. So technically, I would just not put down for those just yet. I'm going to keep this one here, but the false inserts I'm not going to put down. Um, but anyway, right, we need to bring down this. There we go. And we need to start producing. We need to hook up this setup, which means we need to put in iron into this system <laughs> and copper I'm going to put down those there we go and right the outer ones is going to be copper And we need one down here. And there we go. Now, we do need to hook up the power as well, so... Let's see.
No, we don't need to do this one. Let's do this. And... We don't need to do... That. Underground stuff there. However, here we need to do... Um, there we go. And let's do splitters. Now, you do have to be careful so you don't drain stuff too much or too, or too quickly. You could do stuff like this to keep pushing from... So it doesn't get completely drained. There we go. Now, as you can see, this will start producing uh, green circuits or electronic circuits, whatever you want to call them. And they will go on the bus. They will keep on going down and down and down. We will keep on building this further down as well. Now you might understand why belts go so quickly, especially when you build big. Um, we still have 482, but it's going to dwindle quickly. We need iron plates and electronic circuits. We need to... We need to uh, merge these so they actually like stack. Let's go this. Let's ghost these down so we know where they are going to be. <clears throat> and I'm if you have a red, like, if you have something that shows up as a red, uh, like this in the blueprint, then hold shift and you can force it to place. And it will ignore all the stuff that's red of the blueprint and will uh, try to designate it for deconstruction if it's possible. But. That's something uh, that's very useful later on. For now, it's not doing super much for us. Now, as I as I said, if I remember, kind of like the first or second episode, this is a game you really should like look at the like you really really should look at the control settings like go into the menu go into the settings for controls and look at the keybinds to see what this like what even if you don't understand what they are for just to see that there is one might be a good thing you never know uh let's see we we want to we want to do gonna have to do this right yeah because we need to go like this we have to And since I have to do underground, the underground is going to come there, so there and there. This kind of snaking is something you learn uh, after a while, how, how you can make it work. But yeah, just because we have a bus, it doesn't mean it's not going to get spaghetti not going to me like it doesn't mean it's not going to get messy so yeah it will that get with it will still get messy it will still like look weird 
it might just not make sense at all once we start getting stuff up and running um i might later on like scratch my head and wonder what the heck i was doing ah, we can take this down uh, a tip always remove the inserters first just a tip because uh, if you don't remove the inserters you might find that you um, you might find that you um, get a stuff like a bunch of stuff in the on the floor or you pick up uh, more than necessary of different stuff uh, so on and so forth like there might be a bunch of stuff which you don't want to pick up but you have to because yeah you didn't pick up the the inserters first and that's very easily done i've done it like a billion times so it's very easy to do and forget to pick up the, the inserters first uh but anyway let's let's see what we have done now we did add one extra thing we did we actually uh didn't have like this one wasn't up there but we added it because we probably will need it at some point so that's why i added it in um now I'm going to remove a bit of blueprints. If you right click on a bl or on a blueprint, uh, you get this one up and you can just click on this uh, garbage can uh, which says destroy blueprint and it will, will destroy it. Now there is no confirmation box so if you click it by mistake yeah it's destroyed so you're gonna have to redo it and if you had done a lot of editing of the blueprint like the content of it you're gonna have to do it all again so <laughs> now what do we need other than the things we have put down that uses the resources we have here so we don't have to move a bunch of stuff like we don't so we don't have to like drag new lines from the bus hmm probably should put down the assembly machine and i'm going to put this one in here as well yeah, uh, I'm not going to hook this one up. I'm just going to keep it there. So let's put this there. All the resources we have been dragging around is uh, dragging out here is the ones we need uh, for this to be built. So this is quite perfect to be honest and i forgot to limit the chest thankfully i remembered now this one is going to stay there let's pick put down uh, another one just for future reference going to need that one uh, did I make? Yeah, I did, but I removed it uh, before I did the blueprint right. Uh, but that uses steel. Could be fine. What we should do over here is uh, pipes. Because pump jacks need 
uh, 10 pipes, so we should make it. And it does need electronic circuits and iron gear wheels. So we can just drag it out and do this. Now, we don't want it to be too long, so I'm probably not going to do more of it like this. Now, there is more efficient ways of doing this, of course, but this is just like, this is fine. You don't need to do it more complicated than this. Here we go. Like that. And like that. And this one will need. And we should do this. Now I'm going to remove that one like that. No, not the belt. There we go. And I should limit, of course. Now uh, we do want a bunch of these, so I'm not going to limit it to four. And this one could be, yeah, one. Should we do it two? Yeah, we should do it to two because they stack at 20, not 50. Um, uh, let's see. I might want to, I'm going to do a uh, assembly machine two and put this one there. So this one produces a bit faster because it is feeding two different things. Uh, okay. No. Freaking hand just going crazy. Let's do a bit. Yeah, yet. Let's do a double amount for pipes, I would say. There we go. We do need steel to make this work, but I'm not going to like drag it out here just yet for for the time being. I'm going to put this one down because we should want to do it over here. So I'm going to just put this like this. What I could do is I could do this, to be honest, like just do a constant combinator and a belt and steel to show that I need belt steel. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, this episode has been going on for 33 minutes. Good thing I just was throwing a like a quick glance at the time because wow that could have been going on for way longer if I didn't uh, but if we just quickly go into this we have done this we're going to remove this we're going to remove this because we have done that this one is done uh, we can remove the gear wheels because we have done them uh, the pipe ones is done, uh, the minor one is done, the assembly machine one is done. Yeah, I'm going to remove that pipe one because it's just for uh, the engine units and I know how to make them, but if you want to remember how, like, why you had it there, why why there's a bit of extra space or something like that, you could just leave it uh, and remove it once you have done the thing completely, like the engine units and all, all the other bits around it. Uh, but as it stands right now, we have this left. Uh, we are going to move the uh, the ammo production a bit. Um, we are going to make a bunch of stuff. Now, I think 
Because if I remember correctly, we do need steel for the electric poles and a bunch of other stuff. So we might actually want to do like um is there anything else we want to keep like need on the belt like we have plates Let, let's see yeah we should probably mix copper and steel on this one actually yeah but we are going to have to we, we are up to 36 minutes at this point, so we are going to have to end it here. Thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.